All right, gentlemen, the game is Texas Hold'em. The blinds are 1,000 to 2,000. You should still be in the hospital. Relax, bro, OK? I'm going to win back everything I owe. I'm going to bleed these guys dry. All right, They're gentlemen, place about. your bets. Morgan, you coming? Yeah. <laughs> I'll call. Morgan, does your buzzkill of a brother have to be here, or can he go spread his negative energy somewhere else? Morgan's in your apartment playing No Limit Park with your friends. What can go wrong, right? Why shouldn't Morgan trust you? It's not like you haven't screwed him over in the past. Morgan wanted to play, and I gave him the opportunity. So you keep saying. OK, don't worry about Mikey. He's not holding me back. All right, don't look now. Here comes a monster. Boom. <gasps> keep your hands off those chips. I saw you, you and Kiki. You cheated. Why don't you chill, OK? I didn't cheat. The car's just like me. Elton, you're calling me a cheater? Come on. I saw you give him a look. Kiki, what the hell? You told us this Morgan guy was a stooge. You said we were going to take him for 10 grand. You two are setting us up. Why don't you step okay, off? OK, boys, right? boys, boys, let's not argue. Look, Morgan, that line you gave you about setting up this game so you can take the other player's money, what if it's the other way around? Look, what kind of player are you if you can't keep your lies straight? See, I told you that they were all working together. <laughs> no. No, hey, 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 do not listen to that buzzkill, OK? We were just playing a friendly little game, boys. That's all. Come on. Sorry, forget it, Kiki. We're out of Come on, guys. This is just a misunderstanding. My brother overreacts about everything. Come on. Well, at least he left before he got any deeper in debt. Oh, that's brilliant, Mikey. Really. Now that you've stopped the game for my own good, do you have any ideas how we're going to pay back those thugs? I could have calmed them down and gotten them to keep playing with us if you hadn't opened your stupid mouth. Yeah, I can see why you're disappointed. Morgan hadn't lost any money yet. OK, excuse me. Can we prioritize here? All right, those guys that worked me over said they'd come back and finish the job if I didn't get the 50 grand. All right, and I got 10. That's 10 more than you'd have if you would have kept gambling. Look, you heard what Kiki said to those guys. You were the students. Oh, I only said those things so that they would play with us because they're loaded and lousy poker players. If you hadn't opened your mouth, Morgan would have wiped the floor with them. Okay, if they're so lousy, then why were you cheating? That Elton guy caught you with no help from me. OK, well, which is it? Am I stealing from Morgan or cheating my rich friends? OK, let's review what's happened to Morgan since he's met you, Kiki. Okay. He's racked up $50,000 in debt with you cheering him on the whole time. He's gotten beaten up once he already. He was winning at first, OK? I thought he would just have to keep playing, and then he would win it back. Or you want him even deeper in debt so he'd be desperate enough to come to you for help. Oh, OK. I'm really sinister, aren't I? Wow. OK, Michael, can you just stop insulting Kiki and can uh -huh. we think here? All right, there's a way out of this. Yeah, there is. You're coming home with me. You'll be safe there. <laughs> yeah, forget it. And don't ask me to call Dad, either. Um. Did you forget he already knows? He flew down to Vanderbilt to find you. Yeah, I don't want him handling this, OK? I can handle it. Oh, yeah, not so far. OK, you know what, Morgan? Morgan, hey, calm down. We'll think of something, even though I already did think of something until you had to ruin it all. You know, it was your idea to have Morgan hide out here where the collectors found him and beat him up. OK, and since they knew where he was before, they'll come back here again, OK? So we got to go. OK, Mikey. We got into this mess without your help, and we'll get out of it the same way. In the meantime, Morgan, nice to see you again. Are these the guys who beat you up? Yeah, you know, I was, I was going to take him, I swear. Morgan got the message earlier when you beat him up. Where's the 50 grand you owe? OK, uh, here, I, I, I got 10 right there, and then I'll get you the rest in like a day or two. But we already had this conversation. 10's not 50. <laughs> we want it all. Morgan, if, if he promised you that he would get you the money, then he will get you the money. Oh, is that so, pussy cat? What can you get us? Look, I'm Morgan's older brother, OK? So let's cut the crap. You know who our father is. You'll get the money. We already gave Morgan plenty of time, and he had 40 grand short. So now we're going to put the three of you in the hospital. All right, you touch my brother again, you would be sending yourselves to the morgue. Is that a threat? That's a statement of fact. My father's very protective of his kids. Daddy's not here. And the three of you are going to have plenty of time to think how you're going to pay back our money. And you're in body casts. Maybe we should start with the girlfriend, huh? Just a bitch. Yo! Yo, what the hell? Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, hey! Back off! Back off! Hey, guys. This is my dad. I don't know if I mentioned he's uh, very protective over his children. Morgan. Hey. I'm paying 
My son's debt is 50,000. Now you can count the money or you can just trust Mr. Corinthos. Trust Mr. Corinthos. Take it and go. No, 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 Dad, I just, I owe him 40. I already gave him 10. Okay, you keep 10, 10 grand for your trouble. And you tell your employer, I'm sure my sons are, you know, like he said, I'm a very protective father. If you or whoever you work for come after my family again, you're a dead man! Okay, do me a favor. Get this trash out. Get him a taxi, because I'm, I'm sure it's pretty dangerous out in this neighborhood. Let's go. I want to hear about what happened. These guys, they From came... Michael. Those two worked Morgan over pretty good before I got here. They came back to finish the job. Do you see the position you put your brother in? To have to fight to defend you? Yeah, Dad, it's not that I don't appreciate the save, but I, I mean, I was gonna handle it. All right, you know what? It doesn't matter. You're, you're, you're safe. I'm gonna take you home. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, wait, what do you mean home? I'm taking you back to Port Charles. Okay, what about Kiki? Kiki, is that your nickname? It's uh, it's short for Catherine. Oh, I'm, well, I'm more interested in your last name, Jerome, because there used to be a, a family back in the 80s, very powerful crime family. Yeah, no kidding. And my son almost, you know, gets his kneecaps busted in your apartment. Your dad, dad, there's no way that she's part of that. I'm job. talking to Mr. Jerome. Okay. You ever heard of uh, Julian Jerome? His sister was Olivia. You related in any way? Not at all. So it's just coincidence? Do you know how many Jeromes there are in Manhattan alone? What do you want me to go door to door asking each one of them if they're related to uh, monsters? Uh, Kiki, I think my dad's just. Well, see, the thing, the thing is, Mr. Jerome, is my, my son almost got beaten up pretty bad here in your house. Yeah, but Dad, you got the wrong idea, okay? She's just trying to help me out. Dad knows that Kiki encouraged you to gamble with money you didn't have. Even if she didn't set you up, she did nothing to stop you from falling. Wow, way to have my back. Bro. Well, it doesn't matter because whatever you, you had or think you have with Mr. Jerome, it's over. Oh, and that's your decision now? Morgan, let's go. Okay, Dad, no, all right? I can make my own choices. I'm an adult. I'm gonna stay here with Kiki. You're contradicting your father? <sighs> Dad, listen, I, I, I appreciate you bailing me out. Seriously, I'm gonna pay you back the money. It's not about money, Morgan. It's about respect, you know that. I know, but I can make my own decisions. Well, your own decisions almost got you killed. You know what I mean? You wanna, you wanna act like an adult? Then I'll treat you like an adult. Until then, we're going. You know, I really think this has been it's handled, not, though. No, it's not a request. Hey, I should, I should probably just go with him, you know, just to keep the peace. Hey, I'll see you soon. Okay. You better. Yeah, come on, let's go. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> 